Hey guys, welcome back to Build. So yet again, today we are on another Skyscraper Let's Build episode. So I thought, you know what, let's start this thing off from a different angle today. And oh my God, does this thing look amazing. What do you guys think? Tell me in the comment section. I want to hear what you guys think of this, but let's just go change our FOV so we actually can see straight right now. Uh, and let's get towards this thing. Let's get some work done. So in the last video, what we did was we made this awesome curve detail. We tweaked the front a little bit, guys. I think I forgot to mention that. Duh, me, right? Um, so this, well, I can't really explain it. How do I explain this, guys? How do I explain it? Um, if you come from the middle section, this should come out by two, should come down by one. Come across by three, come out by one. And this should be your middle kind of section. This will come down by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven blocks. Come out by three from both sides of this middle square. Now the middle square is one down, three in from the side. And this consists of five blocks in width and one, two, three, four, five, six in height. Notice it touches the bottom of this, but it's one block away from the top of this kind of rectangular detail we have here. Alright guys, so now we've got that little thing covered, uh, let's get started on this thing. So I decided we should definitely bring this thing up by 4 in height. It just needs to look um, needs to look a little bit cooler. And also what we're going to do guys is after this we're going to build a kind of like little line going up into the air of just one by one blocks. And it's just going to show us how much room we have to play with. Um, of course, this build, I do believe, is slightly above the ground level. Um, that's because it's raised up on pavement. It's next to a road. I think it's also partly on the climb of one of the hills on the server, guys. Um, we actually have a professionally landscaped area. Um, it's not like your normal default world. It's not like a lot of servers, which is made out of world edit and can look pretty cool that way. I actually got a professional map... Um, map creator boy boy to create the whole custom build server um, layout so we have a massive beach which we call one mile beach and then slopes slowly at a slow gradient into a beautiful hill um, at the back and it was actually all inspired by LA which is in California the state in America if you guys want to check out LA is an absolutely awesome place Loads of cool YouTubers have moved there because it's such a nice location. Um, and I just, I love the area. I went there on holiday once. I just thought it was an amazing place. And uh, I was like, you know what? Why don't we have the server inspired by the landscape of that? So he looked at a section of LA, the most iconic sections, and he kind of used inspiration from that to create the server. So we have mountain ranges, and not like the little mountains that you find on Minecraft, guys. You can fit hundreds of houses on these mountains. They are humongous. Um, and we can have steep, windy roads going up, and there's so much possibility for so many different types of houses. We try and build in different environments for all different kinds of homes on the server. Of course, it's also ridiculously high standards, how we discussed in the previous video. So if you guys want to... Um, check that out. I try and cover topics in my videos. Um, so if you guys watch them all the way through, you can get a better understanding of like the location of where I'm building, um, kind of stuff that's gone on um, with the server and progress video ideas. I try and cover loads of stuff in my videos, guys, just to give you a heads up on what is happening. Um, so raising this up, what's the whole point on this? Well, guys, this is kind of going to be like a big like conference room right um and of course because of the amount of glass here you kind of you kind of uh don't need like glass here to look through more glass it, it just doesn't make sense so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be building a kind of base structure then we have our glass then we have kind of like a roof with some solar panels on the top um i do believe there's going to be some kind of exhaust exhaust fans on the top as well just because of all the pollution that this building may cause. Although we are going to try and make some kind of eco-friendly feel about the place. Um, what we're going to do at the front is we're actually going to bring it up by another five. No, by another four, three even, sorry. Wow, not good at math today, am I? Um, and the reason this is going to be like this is because 
I kind of want to have this cool sloping effect. You're going to see what that is in a second, guys. So we're going to all bring this up by free. That is one of the helpers on the server. Since my server is so high standard, I covered this in the last video, 95% of the builder's applications, it doesn't even matter if they're from Wok. I've probably rejected a good 10 builders from Water Corrales already um, on the server when they wanted to apply for builder. We have ridiculously high standards because we want all the builders on the server to be at immaculate standard so basically guys every single house on the server could meet Corrales's showcase uh, his inspiration series uh, standard every single one of them which if you think about that is completely mad um, so yeah it's crazy um, but you know that's how I want the server to look I want it to be the best that it can possibly be and I want the builds to be stunning so you guys don't even have to look around to uh, find a nice looking house because every single house is nice looking and will blow you away but because getting back to that point um, that it's so hard to get on the server and become a builder I gave a helper rank uh, so if people really do like the community um, and uh, they really want to get involved and help out uh, they can go ahead and do that um, and I think that's an awesome thing Okay. Alright, I see what that guy means. It's actually out of line, guys, by a tiny, tiny bit. Do not fear. It's going to be easily correctable because that is all in line. We just got wrong here, right? So we just got to decide which side do we like the most. I'm going to say that's not this side, the other one, because it kind of yeah, it looks like it has a bit more definition. Oh no, because we actually... um. We did that so it was in line, and then I must have accidentally done it wrong. Somehow I dabbed up, I don't know. Hmm. Strange. So we're going to bring this one out by one more, because we saw that, you know, the other side was all correct. So that's all cool. Alright, so what do we have here? So from this blog, guys, we actually, um... Is that... Is that in line with this one? Which one are we in line with? Alright, we're in line with that one. So then this is one diagonal. Let's just check. So easy to mess up on small little details on these type of builds just because of how real detail they do include. It's crazy. Um, yeah, like uh, at the front, uh, this guy right here, he was helping me out with... Um, with just copying over the other side because you know I like I usually build like half the skyscraper and then I'm like right guys um, I'm gonna you know speed up the video here so we can get more done per video and of course it takes me less time to upload so it's a huge win-win situation for me when I do that I know you guys don't like it you know a huge ton but you know how it benefits me is just mad it, it really does help me it's crazy um, but like um, how that works out and everything like I have to copy across like so much stuff and because of that um, you know it takes me a long time sometimes I might be off camera for 30 minutes just copying over one side you know, that's 30 minutes as a whole episode that I've saved just on off camera work that you guys can uh, easily follow uh, and work out all right so this is gonna be a little bit confusing now It appears that we have one here. But then we only have like four of these diagonal thingies. So what does that... I'm just checking this is all online, guys. Aha. Uh -huh. Need to come up one more. So if this does get confusing, I would sit back. I'd watch maybe the next minute or so back and forwards just to make sure you're getting everything correct. Um, because these things can can confuse you very easily. Um, see, when you're building with so many little angles, so many little measurements, because you want your build to look good and interesting, it's very easy to derp up on very small details. So what we're going to be doing is slowly correcting it until it all looks right. Okay, so we're going to bring this one out by one more now. Hopefully that's all in line, otherwise you guys are going to kill me. Um, <laughs> I'll be killed alive for getting this thing wrong. So that's in line with that block, and that is not. So that's where we went wrong. This little detail right here, guys. 
that is what screwed the whole thing over. So all you're going to need to do is you're going to need to come up in the height department and you're going to need to bring this one up by one. So bring it up in height, bam, 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 them click speeds though. <laughs> and if we bring it out by another two, gives us a bigger elevator. So I guess <laughs> got a small bonus there. And yeah, it makes it even, so that's all cool. So now that's in line with that block, that's in line with that block. We are happy, everything is in line, everything is working. All right guys, so what we're gonna be doing now is, this is the hard decision. Do we go with blue glass or do we go with like normal glass or maybe black glass? Because black glass could be quite executive. So we can't use glass panes here because we've got so many corners and turns and you know, they don't join onto things. And when they do generally join onto things, it's when you don't want them to join onto things. Um, so remember I was talking a little bit earlier about that line to see how much height we have to play with. That is how much height. Hmm. It's going to be a difficult one there, so I can tell you that now. Um, right, so we're going to bring up by three. Then we're going to come up by, let's see, some blocks. See ya. He helped us out so much, guys. Um, yeah, so if you see him on the server guys, just say hi to that guy. He's one of our new helpers and he is literally so helpful. Um, how much he helped me out in the last video was just absolutely amazing. Just people like that, they literally just give up their time to help others definitely deserve a lot of respect. So guys, it's coming up like that. It's coming up by three, by three, by three, and it's coming out by one each time. Is that really visible from the bottom? No. But then yet again, when you want to really see a, you know, a Minecraft skyscraper, you're going to be touring around it, of course. Um, I'm going to see if I can adjust the whole platform level of this whole area. I know it's going to take ages um, because I really want to do some certain things with this build. And because of the height issues, that is becoming a little bit limited. If I bring it by like a 2x2x2, two by two by two, would that look cool? Nah, that's going to be way too many, right? Yeah, definitely. I think we could do it like that. I think that could work. Um, we really don't have much space to play with it, guys. Alright, 12 minutes already? 13 minutes almost, actually. That's crazy. Where does time go when you are recording? Absolutely mad. Um... So what we're going to be doing now is we're going to be bringing every single one of these up by three. This applies for the same fall. Up by three, and then up by two. Can you see that? I shortened the last one by one because I think we can get away with it. It doesn't look like stupid. It doesn't annoy my OCD. So I'm guessing that applies for you guys with OCD as well. It looks cool. You know, it doesn't annoy me. Um. And it also gives us one block more to play with in height because we are literally limited down to the bear, like minimum couple blocks here, guys. And that's going to have to include solar panels and our whole roofing design. So, you know, we are really limited here. Um, now, my idea is, do we keep bringing it out by one? But when we get to the side, do we stop doing that? I don't know. It's going to be difficult. All right. You can do that. So again, and you'll see when the height actually get becomes altered, it's gonna be where things get a little bit tricky. So I think we'll leave it like that, like that. But then like right here, we edit it and we bring out by two. And we bring out by two, like that. So can you see that guys? That's what you're gonna need to do for the side parts. People do tend to get very confused when it comes to this kind of stuff. It is understandable. It's easy to make little mistakes when you're coming to these kind of details. All right, so just keep watch, guys. It's going to be difficult. You guys can do it, I know. It. All right, so just keep continuing them. Remember, you come up by three and then you come up by two. So you're just going to want to do that. Like that. See that, guys? So what are you going to want to do? So remember, because we dropped down one level in height, all the glass is going to be one lower in height. You're going to see why that's all for in a second uh, when I get around to doing all of that, of course. 
um, it's just a nice little design feature it gives it kind of like an aerodynamic look which I think is personally pretty cool I mean you gotta think of little features little design ideas that you can um, try and incorporate in your build to make it look more interesting for example this new modern house I'm working on no idea if it's gonna actually work out in the end it's a super super like um, concept um, experimental build um, and I just tried to push the boundaries really see what was possible with weird materials that you'd never use uh, together um, like normal materials but with a weird kind of color palette mixture if you kind of get me um, and I created something it kind of inspired by a fast car but it's a house right it looked absolutely mad like <laughs> I was like what the hell that thing looks epic um, so it really just proved guys um, you know just keep playing around with details and uh, eventually when you find something you like um, stick with the flow I guess and hopefully you'll find something cool out of it now what we're going to do here is we're going to actually go backwards as you can see what I'm doing right now we're going backwards because we can't go forwards with this design it would look so weird um, so we're going to do that and what I'm going to do guys is for the time's sake it's almost getting on to 20 minutes and you know with my kind of like 20 minute recordings I don't really like to go over like 25 minutes it's like my absolute maximum kind of time mark for videos because I don't like you guys watching massive videos from me I'd rather break it down into smaller more easier watchable parts because uh, I know you guys enjoy watching smaller parts more and it also means I can get more videos out which is win-win <laughs> again less upload time anything that does that for me is a win-win situation so um, I'm going to bring it out like that like that for the back it's going to be a little bit difficult because we have such a flat edge here because I decided to do that for some reason not a bad choice um, just that's what I went with I guess look cool Alright, so I guess for the back here guys, what we do is we just do the same thing all the way through. Um, all the way through. You guys kind of got the pattern, but you know, it will be all the same for this. So basically you can just go along for this whole, this whole line here, do the same thing. Of course, let me just do this to show you guys what this would be like. So remember three, then remember we come up by two, right? see did I accidentally come up by four yes I did okay <laughs> my bad uh, you just come out by there that was a free and that should be like that all right guys what we're gonna do here now is we're gonna bring these up by free bring up by free I'm just showing you what this little angle looks like just because this is the area where people will slip out this is the area where people will get confused and that's going to look like that. So now you guys have a general understanding of how this looks like. I'm going to go copy it around the other side. And then we will get on to the roofing, which will be the final part of this video. Can't believe it's almost over. Feels like we've done practically nothing. But just time flies past when you are recording videos. I will catch you guys back in a second. Don't go anywhere. So guys, welcome back. It's looking pretty awesome. I have to say, I think this thing's looking amazing. It has some kind of aerodynamic look to it. Kind of has like that Avenger style, I just noticed. Kind of looks like the Avenger building a little bit. Um, how that turned out to happen, I have absolutely no idea. But guys, we're going to have an issue. We kind of reached the block limit without, <laughs> without realizing. Um, so what we're going to have to do... This only applies for the front two blocks, so we're gonna have to change it. But I'm just thinking of what material do we use for our very top? Do we use black wool? Do we use gray stained clay? Of course, we want to go something that's not too out of the ordinary. You know, if you're in Flows HD, I can't have my mind maybe selling some bedrock. Yeah, we're gonna use some bedrock for this thing. This looks freaking amazing. Of course, if you're on Xbox or if you're on Pocket Edition or if you're just simply playing Minecraft and you can't run the Flows HD, what I will say to you guys is um, go ahead, get black wool. If it doesn't look as good as black stained clay, don't use it. Uh, they would be my main two materials to use 
if you could don't have like a nice looking bedrock that is black and kind of looks as maxi as this <laughs> i mean you gotta love flow's hd texture pack a lot of people have noticed have switched to huntington's texture pack recently but what i love about flow's is yes maybe it doesn't have fridges built into the texture pack but because it doesn't have fridges built in and it doesn't have all these things you've really got to be creative and you've got to you know design things rather than just rely on your two blocks of your texture pack say to make a fridge i'm just using that as an example guys as soon as you start doing that that's when you become uncreative and that's when you become a bad builder it's what i discovered a little while ago about myself that's when i went back to using floats so for the top layer guys is going to be them two blocks we are going to have to find out some kind of cool way to make this thing work uh, we're going to have to put slightly more of an overhang on it so what i'm going to do is i'm going to move these blocks forwards by one you're going to do this on every single one i think a one overhang should be enough one more than it was previously um see you can't add too much of a of an overhang on if you do that then it's gonna look really weird and yeah it just you won't like it guys um it would just kind of look top heavy you may not be able to see the glass that well from certain angles you know what? i'm liking that i think it looks pretty cool actually i'm really digging that design um so for the sides here seems like we come up with two all right yeah okay <laughs> Um, what are we doing here? What is happening? Um, I don't know. What, what are we doing here? Alex, think. So I'm going to bring two out like that. And what am I actually going to do, guys? I'm going to sneak that little glass in right there. Do we have to do this every time? No, we don't. It was just for that one particular block. And you're just going to run around the whole outside with this bedrock. And you're just going to keep placing it, kind of the same as how we place the glass. You know, you come up by one, and then you place it. It's pretty straightforward. It's pretty simple. You guys should get the hang of it. Not difficult at all. Okay. So i got to say, guys, this skyscraper is looking awesome. There's still a few things that I'd like to change, but from what people on the server have told me and from what you guys have fed me back with, you guys are absolutely loving it. I gotta say, I think it's one of the best modern skyscrapers on YouTube, which is a pretty awesome achievement. You guys actually got my first modern skyscraper that I made, which enticed me to make this other video um, to the number one result on YouTube for a modern skyscraper, which I was absolutely blown away with. Um, I think it's on 26,000 views at this current moment in time, which is, you know, for my channel, only a 5,000 subscribers. Um, it's a pretty amazing, like, little, uh, statistic right there. So, you know, thanks guys, that's amazing. Uh, let's see how well we can get this video to do. I'm sure this will hit up in them thousands very soon. And start rocketing just like the other one did. So what we're going to be doing is just repeating it. It's a very simple process. We will actually need to bring out by one more, because like I said at the front, you know, I'm going to bring out by another one. That's just how we're doing it. And then you realize you mess up on something really simple. Why did I do that? And this is that one block that, you know, needed that glass. Sorry about that, guys. I was kind of just looking at the general kind of block height level. I wasn't looking at what it was supposed to be on. So you're going to need to delete the bottom layer of all of this. It's just, uh, it's pretty late, guys. I record a lot of videos late at night because... The internet is amazing, so it doesn't take me half a year to actually upload a video. Everything's quiet, no one's making background noise. I know, I just feel, I kind of like recording at this time more. It feels awesome. Alright, so now we got that, guys. Um, what we're going to be doing is actually making a really cool little roof design. So what you're going to want to do is, for the first block, you're going to want to do that. Just for time purposes. Uh, we're not going to do that right yet and maybe for experimental purposes we're not going to do that yet so guys actually don't delete don't place some blocks even there uh, i want to see if uh, we can come up with some other design so what i'm going to do and if you have wired it i recommend you do this 
kind of square it off into square sections. See, World Edit cannot work if you're working on a jagged area. You need to fill a square space, a rectangular space. Uh, whatever happens, it's going to be a four-sided area that you fill. And uh, with a World Edit, of course, if it's all j like jagged and all over the place, <laughs> it's not going to happen. I do think it is Bedrock. I do think so. Love them legitimate world edit commands. Why can't everything be like that? Could you imagine like green wall and like, you know, that would be amazing. Unfortunately, we can't have all the things that we want in life. So we will have to keep building like this. But anyway, guys, you're just going to want to build the roof across like so. I am sorry that we did go over time in this video. I will try not to do it every single video. But you know, I wanted to pack a little bit more into this. You know, we got all the glass done. We got the roof kind of done. We're going to do more work to it. I can definitely see a good another four parts going into the skyscraper. Let's build. But then, you know, this isn't a simple, you know, free part to skyscraper. This is going to be one of the best on YouTube. So we have to put in a lot of time, a lot of effort. And hopefully you guys will show enough support to make all that worthwhile. Jeez, you know, this, this kind of stuff just takes forever. Come on, don't fall. Not now. All right, you know what? We're just going to word out of this. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't do that in the first place, but, you know, I guess it's because I'm getting tired. Bam. Bedrock. Let's do this, guys. So, as you can see, as the layers come down, I actually place this at a lower level. I'm actually using a different type of word editor right now. It's called Async and uh, it allows it to be placed in sections. What this achieves is it means a no laggy server. Oh, and lots of people are using word editor the whole time, guys. It can completely kill a server and cause it to crash, which is not good. If you think about all the people building around you, they may lose progress, say like the last minute of progress, but you know, that kind of stuff's still annoying. Um, and you know, he wants to, you know, have to restart the game. That's just really annoying, right? And it also lags everything out. So even if it didn't crash, it'd be laggy as hell. So async, amazing plugin. If you're on a server and you want to prevent everyone from lagging the hell out of your server with world edit, definitely look into async. Now at the moment, it's kind of cool. It's kind of derp. It needs a lot of tweaking for sure. Um, maybe we go with quartz. Maybe that contrast is too in your face. Uh, maybe we we'll go with stone. A lot of people are not big fan of this block personally. I think it looks fine. Could use that. Nah, that's a bit too daring, I think. Let's go with some quartz. I like the idea of quartz. I think it's pretty awesome. Hey man, what's happening? Just recording. You know, it's, it's awesome to see all you guys coming on here. I literally get new guests like every like five, ten minutes, which is just awesome. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> That's awesome, man. Um, so one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think we did that right. No, we did not. Like I said, guys, I am tired. What is happening? Six, seven, eight. We did that right, okay? Oh, no, no, we got we got one section right. We need to um. We need to just add it a bit. I know, guys, it looks derp as hell right now. You know, you're thinking to yourself, you know, what the hell is he doing? Um, but, guys, I'm a little bit tired. Um, of course, I'm probably going to overview this in the next video and go, like, what the hell did I do? But for now, we're experimenting. It may look cool. It may look completely crap. I have no idea. But if we pull this off, it's going to be amazing. And it's the next big important step of this build is to kind of make this roof detail look look the shablang look interesting so it turns out guys this is actually one block closer so we're gonna do that i'm gonna do that pop away you it needs to be closer again so we repeat the process we go bam bam we do it to this side it may even be another one closer just trying to make sure we have all our measurements on point. Which we now do, I believe, do we? Now you are one closer. Let's just double check so we don't have to keep adjusting. So that's two away. That is two away. It's just an optical illusion, guys. And that finishes on that block. That finishes on that block. So 
Turns out this one's one longer. What we'll do in exchange is take that back by one. Them two guys are either the same. It looks like it's out of line, right? But it's actually not. It's the weirdest thing. I've had this kind of thing before. But anyway, guys, I'm going to do more work on that in the next episode. I think it's best I leave it for that. This thing is looking freaking amazing. I couldn't be happier with it. Of course, it still needs adjustments. It still needs tweaks. But check out this thing, guys. It's absolutely some next level shit. Um, but anyway, guys, if you enjoyed the video and you want to support this series, please do give it a nice big thumbs up. I really appreciate it. You want to see more videos from me when I see them thumbs up happen and it gets me in such a motivational mood. Of course, go subscribe as well. That is absolutely amazing because it will allow you to, you know, find out when I'm uploading content and uh, yeah, it will keep you guys active with me. So hopefully, 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 I'm making our words today, guys. What is happening? That was a weird one. Um, <laughs> hopefully you have enjoyed this video if you did you know do the following thumbs up subscribe leave me a comment i really want to know what you guys think of this thing personally i think it looks amazing but i want to hear your opinions of course and i will catch you guys in the next one almost completely dubbed up that outro <laughs> i'll see you guys there